There is no doubt about it. The Rottweiler is one of the most feared and revered guardian breeds in the world. Intelligent, versatile, and fun-loving, Rottweilers are amazing canine companions. But are these muscular guardians also clean house dogs? Well, in today's video, we're going to discuss the amazing Rottweiler's grooming requirements in much more detail. Welcome back to the Femrear Rottweiler Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist and I'm the founder here at FemreaCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything that you could possibly ever want to know about the Rottweiler, then how you can become a high-level canine leader that can raise perfect Rottweiler companions. So if you love the Rottweiler as much as we do here at Fenrir, start by hitting that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and you'll never miss a future Rottweiler video. So then, let's dive into today's video. We're going to take a good look at the Rottweiler's grooming requirements. And let's jump straight into the question of how much of a shedder this strong and compact working dog really is. The Rottweiler is one of the most powerful guardian breeds in the world. Fiercely loyal and protective, this dog is guaranteed to keep yourself and your home safe. And quite surprisingly, Rottweilers even make good apartment dogs. They're not prone to excessive barking and will be happy to settle down in the house after good walks and playtimes. But again, this is all about their grooming needs. And are these devoted guardians, notorious shedders who need tons of brushing and washing? Well, the good news is that Rotties are in fact surprisingly easy to keep clean. They have short, straight and coarse double coats that hardly shed. Outside of shedding season, that is, in spring and autumn, where Rottweilers lose their seasonal coats and require more brushing normal for a few weeks. The amount of underwool Rottweilers have largely depends on the climate in which they live, but in any case, the best tool to extract dead and loose hairs from the undercoat is a Furminator, specifically designed for short-haired dogs. Hey guys, very quickly, I just wanted to ask, are you following us over on Instagram? If you're not, there's two accounts that I would love for you to check out. The first one is our brand account, at Femria Canine Leaders, where you can see more about our industry-leading products that we create. If you're interested in following me personally, that's at I am Will Atherton, where you can see behind the scenes of me working with some of the most extreme behaviour cases in the world, and what it takes to run these kind of YouTube channels, and maybe if you just want to be able to come over and chat with me, that's the place for you. So there'll be links down in the description box for both of our Instagram pages. I'd love for you to come and check them out and hopefully we'll chat over there. Now, apart from shedding season, you only have to brush your Rottweiler once or twice a week with a pin brush and a natural bristle brush. By the way, grooming your dog not only removes the dead hair stuck in their coat, but it also stimulates circulation and distributes natural oils in their skin, which is really beneficial for them. Now, unlike other breeds with long and plush coats, Rottweilers do not need regular baths to stay neat and clean. One bath once every two or three months is sufficient. In the meantime, you can quite easily remove any dirt or dust just by wiping down your Rottweiler with a wet washcloth. If you have a yard or garden, you can also spray them down with a hose to remove excess dirt. Now, when you do bathe your Rottweiler, use a mild dog shampoo and rinse the dog thoroughly to remove any soapy residue. Because their coats are so short, Rotties air dry quickly. To remove any remaining loose hair, it is best to brush them before and after the bath. And if you want to give their coat an extra nice shine, rub them down with a chamois leather cloth after the bath or apply a spray-on conditioner for dogs. Now, to ensure that your Rottweiler's floppy ears stay free from painful ear infections, check them at least once a week for mites and excess wax buildup. Alternatively, make it a routine to insert one or two drops of ear cleaning solution for dogs into each ear. Then, gently massage your Rottie's ear to spread the product throughout the ear. Obviously, always make sure that you're following the instructions on the box of the product that you're using. Now, when it comes to their teeth, you want to regularly check for cavities, especially right on the surface of your dog's molars at the back, but also between their teeth. As a large dog breed, Rottweilers are less prone to tooth decay than smaller breeds, but always better to be safe than sorry. Now, your Rottweiler's nails can grow quite long and unwieldy if not cut regularly. Overly long nails can cause injuries for the dog and for yourself. And if, for example, your 60 kilo Rottweiler digs them into your naked feet by accident, you're going to have some pretty big pain on your hands. Now, also, long nails make unpleasant scraping sounds and sometimes scratches on your wood or parquet floors. Therefore, best to cut them about every two months with a specific nail cutter. To, and to avoid accidentally causing your dog any pain, it is best to only do them in small pieces at a time. And if it's something that you're worried about, ask your vet or your local groomer to do it for you. 
Which, there we go. That is the grooming requirements of the incredible Rottweiler. I hope you found that video useful and helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And remember, we've got two dedicated Rottweiler videos coming here to this channel every single week. So I cannot wait to speak to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Rottweiler Show.